Four centuries ago, John Napier of Merkiston, from whom this university proudly takes its name, invented logarithms, one of the greatest contributions to the advancement of knowledge. It was a great step which underpinned Kepler's work on the orbit of the planet and Newton's theory of gravity. Today, you Edinburgh Napier's news graduates take your own next step. History records the support and encouragement to work and study that John Napier received through his faith, from his family and friends, and from those who read his work. We share today's joy with those who have helped us reach this step, and so I invite you to begin today's ceremony with a moment of reflection to give thanks for the support we have received and the strength we have been given by others. I now declare our graduation ceremony open. Good afternoon, Chancellor, Court, Vice-Chancellor, Academic Board, guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, a very warm welcome to you all. I'm delight delighted to deliver this vote of thanks today. This ceremony makes a considerable achievement and milestone in your lives and you should all be proud of where you are today. All of you here today started this journey in many different ways from all over the world and different backgrounds. That is what makes Edinburgh Napier such a diverse and welcoming place to study. As someone that came from Nepal, I've learned so much from you all and it was an absolute pleasure sharing these spaces with you as an executive. Edinburgh Napier University and ENSA are proud to be home to students of diverse cultures with passion, courage, and determination. Today you have reached the finish line of your current studies, and soon you will walk across the stage to a future you have built and worked for. Before you do, I want to thank those who have supported you at every step of your way, who have gone above and beyond, uh, let me share our appreciation for the academic staff at Edinburgh Napier University who have worked hard to give you the best learning experience possible. I also want to show appreciation for staff from school, offices, employability teams, the iPoint staff, IT staff, accommodation services, the library, cleaners and porters, and everyone in your student association. Let us also thank senior management at uh, Edinburgh Napier, the deans, directors, the university leadership team, and the principal. Your deg degree is one of the most effective tools for the change that is needed to move forward with compassion and positivity. Never underestimate yourself as you have earned this with years of efforts. So go forward carrying the name of Edinburgh Napier and raise it higher. I wish you all the very best and congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you. Chancellor, I am pleased to present students from the School of Computing for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a program of work entitled a closer look at adaptation mechanisms in simulated environment-driven evolutionary swarm robotics, Andreas Siegfried Wilhelm Steuben. <laughs> for, for the award of Master of Science, Advanced Security and Digital Forensics, Enoch Agipong. <laughs> David Clack. Winner of the University Medal, Ian Robert Lowe. Claire Taylor. Elizabeth Allen. Simon Franklin Dyson. Panagiotta Karamaditru. David McFarlane. <laughs> Lorraine Muir. <laughs> Chrissy Morgan. 
Sean Palmer, Palmaria Divini. Maji Drafik. Christoph Uzelka. For the award of postgraduate diploma, Advanced Security and Digital Forensics, Derek John Hosbach. <coughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Business Information Systems, Saif Khadir. <coughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science, Business Information Systems, Lance Taylor Jevons. For the award of BSc Honours Business Information Systems, Oscar Piotr Jasowski. <laughs> Brian Long. <laughs> Craig Martin O'Grady. <laughs> Ryan Alexander Dick Doyle. <laughs> Adam Mohammed Nabi. Amy Norton. <laughs> Matthew Smith. <laughs> Vladimir Valen. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Business Information Technology, Gillian Margaret Burke. <laughs> Carol Nicola Kelly. Boris Dimitrov Naumov. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Computer Security and Forensics, Mark Alexander Ash. <laughs> Sarah Backner. <laughs> Jamie Alexander Cameron. <laughs> Benjamin Gareth Gribben. Anna Rose Hutton. <laughs> Connor Edward Kepi. <laughs> Samuel Kershaw. <laughs> Catherine Louise Lagarde. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Matthew Muir. <laughs> Jamie O'Hare. Matthew Harry Ainsworth. <laughs> Ross Brown. <laughs> Glenn James Coulter. <laughs> Brian Allen Mackay. <laughs> Boris Marek Mubala. <laughs> Bradley Orr. Jake Robert Richardson. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing Sandwich, winner of the University Medal, Jekaterina Belikova. Paul Roche. Ben Samuel. Robert Paul Teeger. Andrew Kenny. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering, Computer Security and Forensics, Jordan Paul Black. Gary Andrew Muir. Christopher Robert Peacock. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Computer Security and Forensic Sandwich, John Miles Meadow. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Liam Rees Short. <laughs> Matthew William Strong Ellis. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Computer Systems and Networks, Orestes Christou. Felisberto Antonio Cabral Semedo. 
Winner of the Rob Kemmer Prize, Paul Stephen Hannigan. Ian David Johnston. Jamie William Tarrant Boyce. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering, Computer Systems and Networks, Caelan MacDonald. Jack Robert Charles Waters. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering, Computer Systems and Network Sandwich, winner of the University Medal, Christina Kumanova. For the award of Master of Science Computing, winner of the University Medal, Emma Louise Caldwell. <laughs> Namdi Nwosu. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Computing, winner of the University Medal, winner of the British Computer Society Prize, Piotr Thomas Kubicki. <laughs> Joshua Alexander Rennick. Marek Christoph Zolka. <laughs> Melissa Robin Hogg. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering Computing, Ross Chapman. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing, Zanu Abedin Onoro Oisi Hagmed. Eric Klitsch. Christoph Lutz Zomarslik. Robert Livingston Baird. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Computing Sandwich, winner of the University Medal, Risto Ivo Mishinsky. Kirill Kralaminov Sarvo. <laughs> Mosin Akhtar. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing Science Sandwich, Bradley Allen McLeish. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Creative Computing, winner of the University Medal, Jessica Maria Bissett. Gregor Connolly. <laughs> Patrick Gadarski. <laughs> Dean Howard. <laughs> Akib Javid. <laughs> Krista Kapinsis Katie. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Creative Computing Global, Ryan Kirkwood. <laughs> Jakob Philip Rajulut. <laughs> Patrick Jan Sawicki. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Digital Media, Greg Thomas Armstrong. Nicholas Edward Barker. <laughs> Winner of the O'Reilly Prize <coughs> for Digital Media, Daniel Matthew Donaldson. <coughs> Winner of the School of Computing Award for Best Knowledge Transfer Related Project. Winner of the University Medal, Alexander Haining. <laughs> Katie Ann Hall. Emma Linda Ramsey. Jade Redpath. Sean Campbell. John Michael Charzu. <laughs> Ashley Healy.
John Robert Arthur Irvin. Camille Kilbus. Adam Charles Malvern. Lewis Rickard. Alexander William Scullion. Fraser Stuart Woods. Christopher Dixon. Martin Paul McMaster. For the award of Bachelor of Science Digital Media, Florian Marlene. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Digital Media Global, Martina Napolitano. Winner of the University Medal, Nicholas Robert Sinclair. David Allen Lorimer. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Digital Media and Interaction Design, winner of the University Medal, Gael Dellenbach. Jason Murdo Nicholson. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Digital Media and Interaction Design Global, Gorgi Sashev Karapiv. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Games Development, Emmanuel Miras. Matthew Newbigging. Rory O'Keefe. Bartholomew Person. Valentina Scarfi. Callum Templeton. Winner of the University Medal, winner of the Lawrence Ho Student Prize, Zoe Michelle Wall. Connor Weatherston. Adam James Blance. Matthew James Jenkinson. Jeremy James Malith. Ryan O'Flaherty. For the award of Master of Science Information Systems Development, Stephanie K. Hogg. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Information Technology Management, Malcolm Barber. Gordon Barry. Matthew Alexander George Gormley. Jonas Jonikaf. Christian Kalzug. Callum John Alexander Marshall. David Martin. Vivian Wing Hang Sang. Kautami Yalamanchili. Kyle Kloss. Bebus Candell. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Information Technology Management Sandwich, Philip Michael Stephen Ostromach. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Interactive Media Design, winner of the University Medal, winner of the Lawrence Ho Student Prize, Eva Babette Makabo. Christoph Michael Wasny. For the award of Master of Science, Project and Programme Management Practice Based, Nigel William Fraser-Tickell. 
for the award of Master of Engineering, Software Engineering, winner of the University Medal, Sam Dixon. David John McArdle Dryborough. <laughs> Liam Keogh. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Software Engineering, Jack William Andrew Anderson. <laughs> Graham Dougald Campbell. <laughs> Alec Pascal Gard. William James Hutchison. <laughs> Matthew James Andrew McDonough. <laughs> Stuart David Reed. <laughs> William Roberts. <laughs> Connor Anthony Woods. Winner of the University Medal, Finlay Lewis Wright. <laughs> Craig Baxter. <laughs> David Dubick. <laughs> Connor Robert Johnson. <laughs> Ilya Kalinov. <laughs> Paul Kelly. Nathan Robert Mayer. <laughs> Stuart Melrose. <laughs> Andrew Neil Morrison. <laughs> Lewis Alexander Perry. <laughs> Paul Alan Ramsey. <laughs> Craig Russell. Patrick Piotr Reba. James Frank Wright. Thomas Adam Atkinson. Greg Scott. Luke Sproul. For the award of Master of Engineering, Software Engineering Sandwich, Damien Boswitz. <laughs> Harry Lee Reader. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Software Engineering Sandwich, winner of the University Medal, Jonathan West. <laughs> Nathaniel David Holmes. Alexandros Kamzigulu. <laughs> Jordan Lee Sweeney. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Sound Design, Clark Neville. <laughs> Slim Sati. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honour Sound Design, winner of the University Medal, Mark Giro. <laughs> Alejandro Brasso Huber. <laughs> Reese Vickers. <laughs> Yu Chu Li. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Strategic ICT Leadership, winner of the University Medal, Stephen Donaghy. Stuart Colburn, Johnny Murray. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Web Design and Development, Jack Doonan. Winner of the University Medal, Michael Hart. Richard Cook. Katerina Gennady Broza. Sean Ross. 
Adrian Vasquez Camacho. Colin James Anderson. Joe Church. Josh Tate. For the award of Bachelor of Science Web Design and Development, Dennis Kular. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Web Design and Development Sandwich, winner of the University Medal, Fotini Kalazzi. <laughs> Craig John Shaw. <laughs> Edward Bruce. <laughs> Fergus Alexander. <laughs> Justina Jablonski. Chancellor, I now call upon the Dean of Engineering and the Built Environment to present students from the School of Engineering and the Built Environment. Chancellor, I'm pleased to present students from the School of Engineering and the Built Environment. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a program of work entitled Modelling and Simulation of Car Falling be Driving Behaviour, Joseph Apaya. <laughs> for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a program of work entitled The Role of Technical Efficiency in Productivity Evolution in Port Development, an Application to the Caribbean Small Islands Developing States, SIDS, Ports, Shelley Ann Gillian Brown. <laughs> for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a program of work entitled The Development of a Numerical Temperature Algorithm to Predict the Indoor Temperature of an Electric Vehicle's Cabin Space, Aisling Ann Elizabeth Doyle. For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Structural Engineering, Ibrahim Mutar Mitiab Al Sadi. <laughs> Mohideen Ibrahim Per Mohammed. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science, Applied Engineering, Marco Scheller. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Architectural Technology, Isabel Mary Hope Delgetti. <laughs> Alistair George Edward Germain. <laughs> Winner of the CIOB Certificate of Excellence Award, Alan Ross MacDonald. <laughs> Paula Louise McEwen. John Ninov, Arjan Singh, Jordan Anderson, Mark William Hare, Sarah Ann McKenzie, Ashley Vernal. For the award of Master of Science, Architectural Technology and Building Performance, winner of the University Medal, Elvira Sanchez Monedero. <laughs> Sebastian Jan Kozlowski. <laughs> Keith Wong Tai San Lawrence. <laughs> Matthew Alexander Wallace. For the award of Master of Science, Automation and Control, winner of the University Medal, Enaki Manero Marin. <laughs> For the award of Postgraduate Diploma, Automation and Control, Yakhadventhan Ashtokan. 
for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Building Surveying, Jordan Connell Lane. Paula Darbyshire Owen. Winner of the University Medal, winner of the ACOM Prize, Harriet Elizabeth Reader. Jack James Robert Tinnery. Darren John Drummond. Katrina Abbey MacDonald. For the award of Master of Engineering, Civil Engineering, winner of the Institute of Civil Engineers Prize, winner of the Scottish Timber Trade Association Prize, Lee Charnley. <laughs> winner of the Jacobs Dissertation Prize, Dale Cunningham. <laughs> winner of the ICE Scottish Geotechnical Award, Gordon Grant MacLean. Andrew John Mackenzie, <laughs> Abigail Hayes, <laughs> Manuel Manso Marato, <laughs> Salome Santa, <laughs> Stuart Webster. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Civil Engineering. Damien Anthony Dini. <laughs> Francisco Javier Ruiz Azcu. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Franco Williams. <laughs> Bala Yashwant Krishna Bontu. <laughs> Connor Farrell. Ewan John King, Marshall Mackenzie, Dermot O'Brien, Gavin Reid, Jarayut Sitipuk, Rory Wallet. Jack Kevin Bathgate, <laughs> Jarkin Back Battel, <laughs> Jamie Michael Clark, <laughs> Ross McIntyre Gurley, <laughs> Liam Hasty, <laughs> Hossam Junid. Amjad Wadi Saleh Musawa, <laughs> Samantha O'Brien, <laughs> Maya Tere Field, <laughs> Sean Wilson Robson, <laughs> Cameron James Smiley, <laughs> Yoon Terry. Ang Mo Tu. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Civil Engineering, Jira Yu Lo. <laughs> Winner of the Jonathan Clark and Dunn Building and Civil Engineering Prize, Ian James Owenson. <laughs> ben Gary Albert Forsyth. Michael John Alexander Merritt. <laughs> Etienne Demen. <laughs> Morgan Mouchard. <laughs> Yizi Yan. <laughs> For the award of Master of Engineering, Civil and Transportation Engineering, Ewan Byrne. Russell Robert Boyd, 
Ben Muirhead. Kirsty Tweedy. Lolita Mizun. Dominic Sikora. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Civil and Transportation Engineering, Nin Yi Phu. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Construction and Project Management, Scott Allen Alexander Murphy. For the award of Master of Science, Construction Project Management, Jonathan Michael Clayworth. Olawatayun Dada. Kira Ann Ferguson Wardle. Tonyi Tons Fetipiji. Nwabudse Ili. Yavad Musayev. Chris Payton. Paola Domenica Seminara. For the award of postgraduate diploma, construction project management, Daniel James Wilkinson. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Electrical Engineering, winner of the University Medal, winner of the Kundal Prize, winner of the Institution of Engineering and Technology Prize, Andrew James Duncan. <laughs> Barry Clark Heaps. <laughs> Stephen Ramage. <laughs> Mark Cook. <laughs> Ronald Boltron de la Pena. James William Houston. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering, Electrical Engineering, uh, Yul Ruri Mar. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Ian Alexander John Ross. <laughs> Gavin Blois. <laughs> Ian Crombie. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Electronic and Electrical Engineering, uh, Engineering uh, Bianca Carvalho. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Electronic Engineering, Stuart Thomas Gresham. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Stuart Thomas. Jamelia Alabarganova. <laughs> Charlotte Marie Lithgow. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Energy and Environmental Engineering and winner of the University Medal, Jezoba Josephine Ogogua. <laughs> Ifechukwu Anastasia Enwiani. Sean Yun Jordan. <laughs> Clément Roll. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Energy and Environmental Engineering, Adrian Antolini Merino. <laughs> Mark Alexander Herd. <laughs> Claire Jackson. David Jolly, Andrew John Nisbet, Callum Reid, Jonathan Paul Stout, winner of the University Medal, Ross Widmore, 
Olo Waik Bam Isola Adiola Adan Sanya. Matthew Brown. Dylan Green. Andrew Hagen. Owen Christopher Howley. Nicholas James Eigel. Brooke Picard. Keith Richard Dunn. Tom Hutchison. Andrew Wright. Alberto Lahoz Soler. William Joseph Wilson. Elio Alcantara Dominguez. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering, Engineering with Management, winner of the University Medal, Patrick Ware. For the award of Master of Science, Environmental Sustainability, George Colomer Aguilera. Aguilera. Leonardo Gonzalez Espino. <laughs> Stefano Barron. <laughs> Jisheng Zhu. <laughs> For the award of Master of Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, winner of the University Medal, Ewan William Anderson. <laughs> Michael James Reed. Blair Ritchie Scott. Greg Brown. Connor Galloway. Greg Johnson. Emma McLean. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Mechanical Engineering, Matthew Balls. Winner of the University Medal, Richard Fulner. <laughs> Jens Frisch. <laughs> Callum Gordon Hall. <laughs> Rory James King. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Alan Thorburn. Kirsten Veach, <laughs> Jesse Anar, <laughs> Gordon James Ashton, <laughs> Jack Bathgate, <laughs> Robert Daniel Burrow, <laughs> Ewan Donnelly. Ryan Robert John Geddes. <laughs> Angus Hart. <laughs> Kyle Mackay. <laughs> Ewan George Miller. <laughs> Pia Maria Celine. <laughs> Connor Byron Bull. Malcolm William Cameron. <laughs> Kieran Samuel Duncan. <laughs> David Michael Dyson. <laughs> Gavin James Elliott. <laughs> Christopher Philip Finlay Higgins. <laughs> Samuel Lloyd. Ziad Rahman. <laughs> Kenneth Wallace. <laughs> Saqib Ali Zulfikar. 
for the award of Bachelor of Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Stephen Mackenzie. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Mechatronics, Sean Paul Crowe. <laughs> Can Robert Melville. <laughs> Ian Russell. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Polymer Engineering, Craig Angus Bean. <laughs> Rory James Blaine. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Product Design Engineering, Kasper Jarzmowski. <laughs> winner of the University Medal, winner of the Ian MacLeod Memorial Prize, Sam Mabry. <laughs> Grant Thomas McGuigan. <laughs> Pascal Vock. Christopher James McGregor Cameron. <laughs> Tatiana Yordanova Milkevova. <laughs> Neil Thomas Morton. <laughs> Katrina Mar Margaret Mould. <laughs> Sathira Yakumar. Ra sorry, Rajkumar. Ahmed Ustin, <laughs> Luis Von Drashek, <laughs> Callum Mack. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Quantity Surveying, Andrew Kippen Mayor. Winner of the University Medal, winner of the ACOM Prize, winner of the Commercial Management Prize, winner of the Doig and Smith Prize, winner of the Society of Construction and Quantity Surveyors Prize, John Clare Middleton. <laughs> Matthew David Huey Smith. Ruth Thompson, Alexander Grant Allen, Christopher Ewan Andrew, Duncan Howard Brown, Lewis Gillespie, Anthony James Edward Hope, Alistair George Hume. <laughs> Alistair Chalmers Hutton. <laughs> Beth MacDonald. <laughs> Fraser Scott Sloan. <laughs> Paul Clark. <laughs> Matthew John Legg. Arif Nasir Siddiqui. <laughs> Linda Asidua Anor. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science Quantity Surveying, Katrina Helen Burke. <laughs> Leslie Cameron. <laughs> Blair Moody. Patrick Adam Nedzar. <laughs> Winner of the University Medal, Mariola Peplowski. <laughs> Erika Servi. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Real Estate Management and Investment. Winner of the University Medal, Annika de Boer. Florian Ludwig Andreas Lear. <laughs> Craig Murray. 
for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Real Estate Surveying, winner of the University Medal, Hannah Beatrice Syme. <laughs> Daniel Murphy. <laughs> Mary Grant Thompson. <laughs> Lucy Alice Wallace Tremble. For the award of Master of Science, Safety and Environmental Management, Mohammed Kuputagi Mohammed. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Transport Planning and Engineering, Thomas Vincent Murphy. <laughs> Chuck Wubuka Emmanuel Akosa. Michael Dodds, <laughs> Stephanie Barbro Mary Fountain, <laughs> Neil Jacobs, <laughs> Emmy, Emily Melaliu, <laughs> Ross Pascal. Prakash Kumar Sarkar. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Computing, Sanjam Yadav. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of students from the School of Engineering in the Built Environment. Can I ask the graduates to stand, please? By the powers vested in me by the University Court and the Academic Board of Edinburgh Napier University, I confer the awards for which you have been presented today. For those eligible for an award but unable to attend today's ceremony, I am pleased to confer the awards in absentia. Many congratulations to you all. Please be seated. We're now going to have a short musical interlude. Please enjoy this piece of music brought to you by the students of the university. Song of Songs, music by Kenneth Dempster and the words by Wilfred Owen from his poem, Song of Songs, to mark the centenary of the ending of World War I. Thank you. 
Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I would like to add my welcome to that of Bibbuk's earlier at the opening of the ceremony. Welcome to the Usher Hall today on this glorious day, glorious both inside the hall, but also outside. What wonderful, wonderful day for celebration. I'd like to thank Kenneth and our students and a particular call out for Lorna Murray, our beautiful soprano, for that wonderful performance as David, our Chancellor, said, of music that was composed specifically today, written to the words of Wilfred, one of Wilfred Owen's poems, Song of Songs. And Wilfred Owen's, along with the other famous war poet Siegfried Sassoon, spent time at our Craig Lockhart uh, campus when it had been re requisitioned as a hospital during the First World War. There, the two poets met. Uh, they were being treated for shell shock, and they wrote some of their most beautiful poetry. So it does feel very appropriate that in this we can mark the centenary year of the ending of the First World War in this way. It's also particularly special, and we choose it to be sung first on our graduation days, because for all of us in Edinburgh and Napier University, they are the highlight of our academic year. And each ceremony is special. You can imagine, I have attended many of them, and they are all just wonderful. Although we've all come together in the hall today as one community, each of your roots here will have been unique. The challenges, the triumphs, the setbacks and the successes, they're all part of your individual stories. But whatever your journey to this day, my very warmest congratulations to each and every one of you. I want to add my thanks and appreciation to two groups of people for their support of you. First, your families and friends. As a parent who only two weeks ago watched my daughter graduate, I hold memories of the day very dear, an occasion of joy and pride, an experience to be both treasured and shared. And I know that the supports of your friends and families will have been of immeasurable value to you, to many of you during your time with us. And so on your behalf, I thank them again. Secondly, I want to thank all of my colleagues in the university, the staff, many of whom are here in the hall today, for like me, they take great satisfaction and pride in your success. So what does it mean to be an Edinburgh Napier graduate in 2018? Well, it's perhaps a bit of a cliche to say we're living in uncertain times, a period of rapid change, global political uncertainty, shifting centers of power, and challenges to our very ways of living. In trying to understand the implications, seeing through the turbulence to the truth, it's a challenge for all of us. Advances in technology have exponentially increased the amount of information we now have access to. The same advances have also exponentially increased opportunities for communication, but also for concealment, confusion, and even conflict. Hence, some of the darker preoccupations of our times. Fake news, the dark web, identity theft. But in my view, these are just words from our age for preoccupations of every age and generation. For as long as there has been information, there has been disinformation. Every fact creates the possibility of its denial or an alternative fact, and any idea can be misconstrued. But perhaps what makes the use and misuse of information seem more perilous today is the global connectivity and the speed of communication. So these are challenging times for all of us as we work to live well and to contribute positively to our communities. But in this moment, take a moment, in this environment, take a moment to reflect on your learning journey and how you have achieved your degree. In learning, you have not just acquired knowledge, but a mindset, which I hope has been developed, not taught. And this mindset has prepared you well for the future. You have learned to test evidence, authenticate facts, apply logic, 
and see the spectrum of possibilities when forming your views, and most importantly, when shaping your actions. That is both your talent and your responsibility as graduates. Take a moment also to consider the many and wide-ranging opportunities that lie ahead. Opportunities we, which may not even be evident today to you, perhaps our known unknowns, to quote someone else. Periods of change and uncertainty create opportunities. Technological advances create opportunities. Even five years ago, when I came to Edinburgh Napier University, few would have thought, well, I wouldn't have thought, that advances in design and demand for electric vehicles would have reached the point today where we can realistically foresee the demise of petrol and diesel, or that artificial intelligence would have become part of our day-to-day -day lives, and we would be talking, realistically, about being on the cusp of a revolution which, among other possibilities, could transform the way we, you, will learn in the future. With open minds and the ability to think critically, I know you will inform and shape our society and shape our politics and shape them for good. Why? Because I have seen your determination, your curiosity, your inventiveness and your resilience in how you have worked towards today in your achievements that we are here celebrating today. I think of the graduates among us who have juggled international sporting careers with their degree work. I think of those of you who have started and developed your own businesses. I think of those of you who have come to university later in life and tackled emerging and new subject areas such as advanced security and digital forensics. And I am wowed by the many of you graduating today who have studied for your degrees online or part-time, studying while working and often with family and caring responsibilities is a real demonstration of commitment, motivation and drive. And I am proud of you. So my challenge to you today is this, to use all that you have gained throughout your university journey to make a difference to the communities in which you will live and work. You will not be able to fully control or indeed predict the future, but you can control the attitude you bring. Do be courageous, perceptive, thoughtful, and respectful of others. Have confidence in your abilities and be open to your opportunity. Challenge yourselves to learn and grow and to discover and create. A university is a dynamic learning community, and learning in this kind of community, it's never one way. As you, our graduates, have benefited from time here with us, be in no doubt that you have also made this university a better place. For you came here with your own unique qualities, perspectives, and ways of thinking, and we have learned from you. Many of you have come from around the world to study, and the talent and diversity of perspectives and experiences that you have brought to us have enriched us all. So as we look to the future in Edinburgh Napier University, we will maintain an unwavering commitment to learning in an environment where ideas thrive and new knowledge advances are made. How do I know? Well, I see this every day in the work that our staff at Edinburgh and Napier lead. Research areas such as developing innovative blockchain technology to prevent online fraud, leading the way in design and construction of affordable, energy-efficient homes, combining computer science and forest management to better plan for the challenges of climate change. And these are just a few examples to give you a flavor of some of the amazing work of our staff. So we will continue to play our part with others around the world, reaching across borders to tackle the challenges of our time and improve the lives of our people. Finally, I know I speak for all of the staff when I say we are very proud to have you as our graduates. I hope that you feel a strong connection to the university and to the city of Edinburgh. Take pride in our achievements and speak of others of your time with us. 
and above all, be a part of our future by staying connected with us as valued alumni. So graduates of 2018, my very warm congratulations to each, each of you. I wish you all the very best and success in your future careers. Thank you. This is the part of the ceremony when I'm meant to offer some words of hope and wisdom. Well, how wise they are, that'll be up for you to decide. They are full of hope and they are offered with genuine sincerity. So try and take something from them. When I say to you, if anyone ever tells you your dreams are impossible, wish them well and tell them perhaps theirs are, but not yours. For the reality of it is, none of us really know what tomorrow holds. What I can tell you for sure is you'll never achieve your dreams if you don't try. Dreams are important, but equally so is the journey in search of them. In terms of me growing up, it wasn't too far from here. In terms of me ever thinking I'd be standing on this stage before you, well, that was a world away and a dream I could never have imagined. We hopefully never cease to learn so long as our minds and hearts are open and often our classrooms of tomorrow have no walls. I like to tell the story someone unknown taught me. A few years ago, I was walking down 10th Avenue in New York and I noticed a little piece of scribble, a piece of graffiti on a wall. I can't credit who, done it, who the author was or their wisdom as they chose to remain anonymous. And I've adapted their scribble and I hope I do so with their blessing. I've added the word dreams alongside the word success. And this is what most folk hope for, an effortless instant fast track. But here's the reality. It made me smile, but it also made me think. If the scribble on the left was a reality, I think it would disappoint most of you. Not immediately, but eventually. And though that's hard to believe, let me tell you why. The little bundle of chaos on the right, the confusing bit, well, that's where the magic actually happens. That's the part of the journey in front of you, irrelevant of your age, that you can't even begin to imagine today. But funnily, it's the most important part of the journey. It looks confusing and chaotic, and much of it often is, for it houses a special part of the journey that lies before you, so never underestimate it. It's important because it's where you'll find your wildest dreams, the dreams today that you can even begin to imagine, and take my word, they're even better than the ones you can. Please try to remember this when all seems lost, and from time to time it will. Never stop trying, for it will unravel itself one day of that, I'm sure. I'm also sure you want to now go and congratulate one another, have a few drinks, take a few selfies, and for me to keep this speech as short as possible. But please take one extra little moment today and think of all the people in this world and the dreams so many of them can only ever imagine. For many millions their dreams would be to sit in the very seats you are sitting in today and to dream of education. Enjoy and cherish this precious moment. Today is about you, but tomorrow even more so. For this is the start of what is relatively a short journey. Don't waste your time worrying or being fearful of failure. Only fear not trying. Failure can often be the greatest contributor to a person's success and never stop dreaming. And I hope, like me, one day you'll experience your wildest dreams. For I stand here humbled and proud before every single one of you as testament to their existence. Share your moments and encourage others to dream. Who knows, they may even become part of your dream. 
My hopes are not for you to change the world. The world will take care of itself. My hopes are you'll respect it, enrich it, and support it. The experience will feed you like little else you'll encounter. Share your experiences and wisdom with others and enjoy this special day. To each and every single one of you, congratulations and well done. I now declare our graduation ceremony closed and would ask you all to please be upstanding for the academic procession. <laughs>